the 175 regatta, which happened to finish two weeks ago, was very much modern boats, although we did have some XODs and some six meters racing. But this meter regatta has always been set out as the sort of concourse d'elegance event. Meter class boats are the most elegant, graceful bits of kit on the water. And it's right and proper that this club, which has a very long tradition with meter boats, should be hosting the British Open Meter Regatta. And we've had some wonderful racing this week, so it plays a very important part in our overall planning. And it's very important that sailing these beautiful boats does get support. It's, it's great for people to watch, people to participate in, and so it, it, it just fits with our objectives because it reflects heritage. This is our 250th year. It's the Royal Southern's 175th year. And we are celebrating the sailing of boats that have been perhaps as old as 100 years old, but certainly uh, 50 years old. So it's all about heritage. It's absolutely great having Scepter sitting on the dockside here. It reminds members of this club that we were challengers of record for an America's Cup campaign in the 1980s. These boats are elegant, they're graceful, they require a lot of sailing to get the best out of them and Scepter, although she hasn't had anybody to race against this week, has been out there with the fleet. Incidentally, practicing for uh, the Round the Island race and the uh, Classic Regatta, which she'll be doing later this summer in the Solent. It was also very interesting to us that when Jamie Matheson, the executive chairman of Bruin Dolphin, came down on Wednesday uh, to uh, host the dinner here for the, for the competitors, that he spent a lot of time on Scepter. Jamie's comment when he came off the boat was, you know, they don't make boats like this anymore, and indeed they don't. We've had the opportunity to sponsor a really very special event here in the Meter Regatta. It's classic sailing, it's beautiful boats, well sailed, on brilliant sailing ground and it reflects our values of not old fashioned but good, proper, sticking to tradition sailing. It's, it's just the sort of thing that fits with us. It's a sadness that we've had to curtail racing on the third day of this open meter regatta. The weather today um, has been very unpleasant and the wind speeds have been such that the six meters couldn't race and wouldn't race. It was a particularly good call at the beginning of the regatta by our race officers David Arnold and Tony Lovell and Martin Bedford that they should get three races in on the first day of the regatta, two on the second day. So we've actually done five out of the predicted six but today, unfortunately, we've had to curtail. But the competitors seem perfectly happy. They've had a damn good week of racing. And indeed, um, Tim Street, who is one of the older uh, members of the Six Metre Association, said that it's the best Six Metre sailing that they've had for 10 years. Oh, I think it was a tremendous event. I really well, it was enjoyable. We had mixed weather. I mean, some of the most mixed weather for ages, but we had light, so we had meat, and very heavy right at the end. And it was excellently done. Very difficult courses set, but I thought the race officer got all his decisions right. And uh, it was, I think, the closest racing, certainly in the classics, the closest racing I've ever known. For us all to end up on the after the fifth race with equal points is I've never even heard of before in my life. And so from that point of view, it was a huge success. Yes, uh, it's not been the easiest. I would have thought that uh, if we were running a course for aspiring race officers, they could turn on that weather and we'd see how they managed because uh, we had some very significant wind shifts of 110 degrees in the middle of a race. We had uh, a race where the wind was blowing from two knots to about 32 knots and just about everything was thrown at us to make it difficult but we did manage at least to get in five out of the six races.
once this regatta is over, the open meter regatta, uh, we go on almost immediately to the motorboat open weekend, which is an integral part of our club activity. And um, then we have a uh, Commodore's dinner in November to wind things up, and that'll be pretty much the end of what has been, well, what has already been a fantastic year for the club. The first 175 are the best.